What's up, homie? <laughs> <laughs> How are you, Carla? You good? I'm good. Oh, I like the way you say Carla, rolling them R's. I cannot roll my R's to save my life. It's so sad. <laughs> But listen, brother, I love you in this this role. It's really, really great. And I was um, doing a little digging around and I found out that with these Connolly novels, your character was written as a biracial character and you're the first Latino to play that. How are you feeling about that? That must be so exciting for you. Yes, really, really excited. Um, yeah, I was so thankful and so uh, blessed by, you know, to be playing a character like that, a character that it's like larger than life. I mean, Mickey Holler, you know, and to be part of this uh, incredible books of, of Michael McConnelly and, and, and yeah, really thankful that, you know, they took the, you know, Netflix and, and the showrunners and the producers that took the chance of, of hiring you know, a Mexican <laughs> to play Mickey Holler. So, I love yeah. that. I love yeah. that. How much fun did you have riding in those Lincolns, though? That's what I really want to know. Oh, especially the old Lincoln. It was, you know, I wanted to keep that car. <laughs> I fell they in did, You mean they didn't give you one? You got to get that no, in your contract. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm taking it. Like, no. Like, no. <laughs> and, Dave, and David E. Kelly is known for having like these marathon long monologues in his writing which are stupendous and I know that firsthand I worked with Cameron Mannheim on a project and she talked about having to do that on the practice all the time and we see what that did for her she got numerous Emmys as a result of it right, but what right. has that been like for you having to tackle all that dialogue because it's a lot yeah but you know what I, um, to work to know that you're working with David with a, you know David A. Kelly with a producer like that it just gives you peace of mind or, or it frees you because you know you're doing you know you're just gonna go into a project that it's it's you know it's, it's he's he's amazing at it like he knows he has a formula that it works so it just frees you a little um and you have these you have these three homies that are keeping you in line you got izzy you got yeah. <laughs> lorna you got cisco they're like the they're like your your three amigos that are keeping you in line have you had to have somebody do that for you in real life? Someone that kind of just pulled you up by the scruff and was like, hey, hold up, wait a minute. You know, Latino families are very, your mother will grab the, you know, and he will put you in place, you know. <laughs> she will put you in place. Um, but no, yeah, definitely. I have uh, friends from, you know, from since I was a kid that I, you know, they keep me, um, you know, grounded and, and, in the right path, I guess. <laughs> what would you say is the biggest similarity between you and Mickey? Because you seem kind of like this, and Mickey right. is like bravado with a capital B. Oh, I have bravado, Carla. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just. You like listen. You like look. I'm just make behaving. no mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you meet me in person, huh? Okay, um, Manuel, don't play now. <laughs> not play. You're not play. No. Uh, <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. I honestly, you know, especially when I was shooting the, the 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 show, I had this. I just felt very similar. You know, what I was going through, me, Manuel, and what would was Mickey going through? Because for me, Manuel, it was like my first lead on a TV show, you know, and on a different language, and it's like the challenge, and you have to prove yourself, and you know, I, I really, I was having like. It was really stressful, really fun and really everything, but he was really stressful, and you know, and I think Mickey Holler was going through that as well. You know, he had to prove himself that he's a, you know, because he, he wasn't working for some time now. So, you know, we had that. But no, I, 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 I do, I mean, Mickey Holler, he, he thrives on stress. Me, I like to be, you know, like, like you said. I, I, but, um, but no, I, I, I find some similarities too. Well, your co-stars were singing your praises. They were like, he is the bomb. We love him. Him tackling that language and it's not his first language is great. And <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that they they was giving you thumbs up and had had were lifting you up. So I wanted I to let you know my, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Manuel. This has been uh, so lovely. Congratulations on the show. Uh, I'm hoping that you guys get a second season. And thank you for your time. Thank you so much. Big Bye. hug. Bye.